Hi, uh, welcome to this video. Uh, here we are going to look at how to calculate volume after every operation. So if you look at the stock that we have uh, today, uh, we have this particular block as a stock, and then there are several operations that we have done on this stock. So what we can do is, after every operation is done, we can check what the volume is. To do that, I'll go into the simulate option, and I'll go to solid verify. Here I have a fixture and the stock that is mounted on the fixture. Now, before I begin the machining, I can always go to settings, sorry, to options, and go into the machined uh, uh, stock measurements, and it tells me what is the current stock uh, volume. This is an mm cube. Okay, so I'm going to run the first process, and I'll go in the... We'll switch on on the next tool change and we'll start. Okay, you've done so much of machining. And the next one I would like to do is I'll go again to options and go into the machine stock measurements. And this is the new stock measurement. So I, I can measure the stock after every operation. Even if there is a small facing operation, I can measure the stock volume at every operation. What is the stock remaining? And once I get the stock volume, all I need to know is the density. And once I know both of them, I can get the weight of the part at every operation. And this is extremely accurate to the, uh, to the tolerance of 0.01 mm cube. That's the accuracy of the measured stock. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.